guys, it's Charlotte the Rat, and for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing another ratty box. Or, as I guess I should call it this month, it seems more of a ratty bag, um, because they shipped it in a bag instead of a box, which is definitely a first. Uh, I think I've had this for, what, like two years now? And this is the first time I've ever seen it come in something that's not a box. Uh, but I can understand why, because the things inside it would not fit in their regular box. So I'm guessing this is probably just a one-time thing. Anyways, for anyone who doesn't know, Ratty Box is a rat subscription service where each month you get five to six different items for your rats. And they're always really fun stuff like activity toys, hammocks. Uh, sometimes you get hides, ropes, perches, bowls. I've gotten all sorts of stuff from them, and they always include a really cool tent sort of item, which you'll see in a second, and it's been different every single month, and oh my gosh, the rats are freaking me out by going in the bag, so I need to get the stuff out of the bag. I do not like them in the bag. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and remove the stuff from the bag before these guys lose their little minds. Okay, whoo, much better. Anyways, before I get into reviewing what's in this month's Ratty Box, I just wanted to say that if you would like Ratty Box for your own rats, you can check out their website, therattybox.com, and I will have that linked in the description and comments, so go ahead and check them out if you're interested and you have rats of your own. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at what's in this month's Ratty Box. So, from the start, it looks like there's only two things, but that is not quite the case because, as you will see in a second, there are some goodies hidden in the little thingy. Look at all the goodies hidden in the unicorn. Oh my gosh. And it's the rat's favorite thing. Oh my gosh, the rats are always crazy, man. They love this. <laughs> okay, guys, you're tipping over the unicorn. Oh no, they found the treats. Oh no, oh no, we're having a problem. Oh, I forgot to mention that they pretty much always include like at least one treat, oftentimes two, just depends on the month. Uh, and so if I can get everyone out of the unicorn hide, oh my gosh, they are. <laughs> They're looking for the treats. <laughs> okay, so let's review the treats first because the rats are going to pound me endlessly if we don't get through these first. So, first and foremost, you have the Rascally Rat Nutriberries. Now, my rats really enjoy these, and we've gotten them in several ratty boxes. Uh, and every single time, the rats are always so excited. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh no. Oh, they're so big. I always forgot how big they are. Ah, I forgot how huge these treats are. Okay, come here, come here. Oh my god, that's huge! Okay, Butter, Butter, this thing is like as big as your head. Look at this. Butter. Butter, is that a little too big for you, maybe? Do you maybe think that a little dwarf rat should get a smaller treat? Let's share. We can share it with your sister. There you go. Okay, here, here, let's share. Oh, no, 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 Toasta, go! <laughs> that was like a huge piece. Oh, no. Here, here. You see that? Okay, so some of my rats have returned. <laughs> Most of them are still trying to eat their Nutriberries, um, but they really enjoy these, and I'm so glad to see these in this month's Ratty Box. Uh, they are just such yummy rat treats, and the rats are so excited for them. So, no, no omelet. <laughs> so, I'm going to put these aside for now so that sneaky little rats like this one can't get in. Oh, yeah, I see you. I see you sneaking around in there. Okay, so the other treat that we got in this month's Ratty Box is these Critter Pops. Now, these are a huge hit with my rats. They absolutely love them, and they're also really great because they have a little hole in them, so you can hang these up in the cage very easily. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, as you can tell, these are another favorite. Uh, we've also gotten these in a few Ratty Box. Uh, sometimes they come like this and they're the shorter version, but we've also gotten the longer version before. Uh, typically around Christmas, they send out the red and green ones. So the rats are so thrilled to have these again. They always love these to bits and I think Butter really wants the whole thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, the rats always love these so much. But yeah, the treats in this month's box are amazing. And I have never seen a single treat in Ratty Box that my rats haven't loved. Uh, granted, my rats are food obsessed, but I think that applies to most rats. Um, but still, they really enjoy the treats, and Ratty Box has had a really nice variety of them. Sometimes they're super naturalistic, like seeds and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes it's more commercial treats like these. But regardless, the rats always get quite a kick out of eating them, and they always really love them. Now, moving on to the next thing in this month's Ratty Box, we have the Nibble Small Pet Chew. And this one is shaped like a little unicorn, uh, as per the theme here. 
and you can see that it's made out of this really nice loofah material, uh, which the rats really like to chew up. I've gotten quite a few of these nibble small pet shoes from Ridey Box, and they are always different shapes, which is really cool. And they're just uh, really cute. The rats really like to chew them up, so it's a nice thing to put in the cage and encourage them to chew and engage a little bit. Sometimes I'll hang them up on the side of the cage so the rats have to climb to get to them. Regardless, they seem to like to chew this material, so it's nice to see another of these chews in Ridey Box. Okay, so moving on to the next thing, we have what Blueberry is chilling inside, and that is the unicorn hide. So this unicorn hide here is one of the typical hides that comes with Ratty Box. Each time you get Ratty Box, you'll get a different hide in there. I call it the special item because it always changes, and I have no idea where they find so many cute hides. Uh, but they are always super adorable and they pretty much always have a removable cushion like this. And the nice thing about that is not only is this cushion nice and soft, so it makes it even more appealing for the rats to sleep inside, but when your rats inevitably mark or pee in the hut, they are going to mainly be doing it on this area on the floor and it lets the rest of the hide stay clean for longer. So yeah, it's just a really nice feature of these little hides and the hides are always really nice quality in my opinion. Uh, they're super great for taking pictures and they're also just really fun to put in the cage because the rats tend to love them. They'll sleep in them and eventually destroy them, but you know, that's kind of how rats are. What can you do? Okay, so there is one more thing in this month's Ratty Box and I'm going to go ahead and show it to you right now. And Miss Banana really wants to steal my entire puff. What are you doing, Bananas? Okay, so this is the last thing. And I just need to figure out how to open it. Sorry about that, banana. Okay, so I finished making it. Uh, it just has some fabric that rests on this, I think, plexiglass sheet. And it helps keep its shape. And it has a little removable mat, which you can see right here. Oops, I didn't mean to remove toast. So yeah, it's pretty cute. I think that it's really nice that there's something that's kind of keeping the shape of the tunnel because a lot of these tunnels are very easy to collapse. So it's nice to see something that has a little bit more shape to it. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this month's Ratty Box. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the cool stuff in this month's box. Uh, as mentioned before, if you would like to get Ratty Box for your own rats, you can do so by going to their website, therattybox.com, and I will have a link to their website in the description if you'd like to check them out uh, alongside in the comments. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this review. Bye!